you guys welcome back okay so today I really wanted to just kind of love on look at and just appreciate my singles shadow collection um <laughs> it's no secret that I love eyeshadow palettes I love eyeshadow in general but I really really love eyeshadow palettes but I don't know. I'm starting to feel like I love singles just as much, maybe even more, dare I say. Okay, so, you know, I know you guys know I love palettes like crazy, but I love my singles just as much. <laughs> so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to go through my singles collection with you guys and just show you the different brands that I have. Might be some brands that you've never heard of or that you're interested in and you just kind of want to see them. Of course, I'm not going to swatch all of these shadows because we would be here forever and a day if I did, but I probably will, you know, get tempted to swatch a couple of shadows from each brand just so, you know, you can get a feel for the quality a little bit. So yeah, let's just go ahead, jump right in, get started so we can start looking at these beautiful eyeshadows. You're probably going to hear the words beautiful, gorgeous, shimmery, ship hopping, um, all that kind of stuff <laughs> a lot in this video, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So right here, I do have, um, one of my Adept Cosmetics single eyeshadow palettes, you know, holders. Their eyeshadow palette holders are so nice. They're very durable, you know, very well constructed. These in particular are a little bit heavy. So, you know, if you're not into this, you might be a little bit more into something like this, which is kind of like the black faux crocodile type style, but they're all very nice. So what I have in these palettes here, as you can see, I do have Give Me Glow sticker on here. It kind of helps me when I just stick the name on because I do forget <laughs> which brands I have sometimes because some of them are the larger size ones, some of them are the smaller size ones, but let's just take a look at some of these Give Me Glow shadows. And so these are some of my Give Me Glow shadows. Very, very beautiful shimmers. Now, you might recognize some of these shadows from certain palettes that you might have from Give Me Glow because I do like to take my shadows out <laughs> of the palettes from Give Me Glow, just because whenever I have a brand that has singles and palettes, if I can put them all together, I kind of prefer to do that instead of just opening a bunch of palettes all the time when I'm looking for a certain shade. But yeah, these are shadows from Give Me Glow and they are just so gorgeous. I tend to kind of gear more towards shimmers when it comes to singles because I just love shimmers so much. So I do have a few mattes over here. A lot of these probably came out of palettes, but yeah, these are super gorgeous. I'll swatch a few of these, but this palette, which is from Adept Cosmetics as well, has more Give Me Glow, but I think this is just mattes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are all just matte shadows from Give Me Glow. And so as you can see, I have a really nice array of colors from Give Me Glow. I do like their formula, whether it be the regular eyeshadow formula or the pigments. I love using both. So yeah, these are just really, really gorgeous. So I love my Give Me Glow singles. I will go ahead and swatch <clears throat> just a few for you guys so you can just kind of see if you're not familiar with their formula. Hmm, what colors do I want to swatch? Ah, it's kind of tough. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll swatch this one. Oh, Lord have mercy. Do you see that? <laughs> see, I can't be here swatching all day, you guys. Look. Lord, Lord, Lord. Let me. Y'all know I got to swatch a blue. Okay. Just look at that on the fingers. What? Like, are you kidding me? Like, you don't, don't, don't play with give me glow. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't I don't want to hear it. 
I don't want to hear it because they're just gorgeous. Okay, let me do a few mats. Okay, so let's see here. How about uh, purple? You know, purple is a really, um, you know, good color to swatch this blue. And what else? How about this Cheeto orange color? Because, <laughs> you know, those tend to be kind of dry, a little powdery. But let's just swatch them and see what happens. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So that is the orange, the blue, and the purple. What? what you said what about give me glow I, I can't hear you because my hand is too loud okay so yeah if you haven't tried give me glow <laughs> definitely try them because they're gorgeous okay okay so let's see who's next in the lineup this is another adept cosmetics palette that i have this one is in blue they have different colors i wonder if they still sell these i got these some from adept and some from amazon but I know I have a pink one somewhere too. Okay, so these are, who is this? Ah, uh, I think these are Clarity. Yeah, these look like Clarity shadows because they do have the larger pans like the Give Me Glow. And I think this is a newer, a newer shadow that I just purchased from them. Let's see. Yeah, these are Clarity and this one is Carnival. Okay, so just looks like your basic, you know, white shimmer shadow, right? But I'm going to swatch that for you guys and you'll see. But yeah, these are shadows that I have from Clarity. As you can see, I have some beautiful mattes in here. Nice, beautiful shades. And I don't typically buy a lot of mattes from Clarity only because of the fact that they tend to break. I, I receive them broken quite often and it's kind of frustrating of course so I just gear more towards the shimmers but these are let me lift this up these and I'm being extremely careful you guys because <laughs> yeah I'd pretty much pass out if I break any of my um singles but these are some of the shimmers from Clarity look at those shimmers oh my gosh gorgeous okay so let's go ahead and swatch a couple i want to swatch this new one here up at the top that i have carnival because it just looks like that white but child listen okay when you swatch this baby out look at that she is like gold she is like satin gold and it's just like, what is going on here? But yeah, she turns gold. <laughs> so pretty. Um, I think, is this purple one new? I'm not sure, but she's gorgeous. Look at this. Look at that. So pretty. And then I'll do one more shimmer. You guys want to see a green? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay. It's like, I think these, you know, I was just telling my girls, these indie brands have us so spoiled when it comes to palettes because we're just not here for the mediocre shimmers and half-baked um, multi-chromes and stuff because it's like, hello you know if the indie brands can do it then i know that the mainstream brands can put more effort into doing it so yeah let me swatch some of these mattes i'll swatch this navy blue shade Ooh, this kind of like armadillo green okay and let's do a lighter shade how about I tend to gravitate to the same colors because <laughs> those are the colors I like. But this pink is a little bit, you know, powdery, of course. But the pigmentation is real nice. Okay. So those are some shadows from Clarity. Clarity Cosmetics. Not Clarity. Clarity. There's an L in there. K-L-A-R-I-T-Y. Beautiful.
And here I have another Adept Cosmetics palette. <laughs> and you can see this little ghetto sticker on here. It says Sydney Grace. So I know that my Sydney Grace shadows are in here. So let's take a quick look. And as you can see, Sydney Grace has, you know, the regular size um, shadows as opposed to the larger ones that Clarity and Give Me Glow have. But I think I have a pretty good color selection here from um, Sydney Grace. I have some of my more kind of earthy sorry about the glare you guys with this palette it has this little divider in here and so you know it kind of shines but i have some of my more kind of beautiful earthy type shadows up here if you can see that some blues purples greens with browns and then down here is where i have you know my brighter kind of more out there shadows to play with i do have a nice selection of greens from them i guess i was feeling green when i was ordering <laughs> but yeah very very pretty let me swatch a few of these sydney grace for you i want to swatch this green it's so pretty oh, look at that that's gorgeous um let's see let's go down here for some color I will swatch this color here. It's kind of like a really pretty, what is that, peachy, like peachy shade. And how about purple? How about that? So these are some of the shimmers Oop. from Sydney Grace. Gorgeous. And let me grab some mattes. How about we do a brown? Since I don't typically go for uh, matte browns when I swatch. Um, and how about a lighter shade? How about this light blue? So we can see how that swatches. And I would do that yellow, but that's a shimmer. Mm, let me do this... Uh, this navy blue up here okay so that's those three I don't think I picked up enough of that blue Ooh, that brown is very very pigmented like what yeah I could pick up a little bit more of that blue okay yeah amazing so those are from Sydney Grace Okay, so let's move on to some of the newer shadows that I have purchased recently in my collection. Some um, I definitely have not used yet and kind of wanted to do a swatch party with. But these are the newest shadows that I have purchased. As you can see, I have them in this little clear Coastal Scents Magnetic Palette. I love these because I like to see my shadows. <laughs> So, although I do love the, you know, adept palettes, I love palettes where I can see through the cover because I just love the beauty of makeup. So yeah, I have here some from Magical Makeup. And then I have here some from the Collective Cosmetics. And I just recently got both of these. I feel like the Magical Makeup ones are super duper glittery. I really do. Let me just... <laughs> It's like I don't even want to swatch them because I know they're going to be super glittery. So let me just do these two up here. And they are duochrome or multi-chrome shadows. This one feels a little bit more putty-like. But as you can see, they're both absolutely gorgeous. So let me just swatch them here. Oh, that's pretty. It's not quite as smooth as some other, you know, indie brand shimmers that I have. Some of them come off the fingers easier than others. And this is a formula that, I mean, as you can see, is beautiful. But it doesn't come off the fingers as easily as some other ones do. So I'd probably definitely use like a glitter glue for these, but they are gorgeous. Let me just do one more here. Ooh, you see that glitter? <laughs> oh, 
That is like, ooh, child. Okay. So, yeah, I did that one really close to the green. Good job, Camille. But, <laughs> yeah. So that one is more of like the gold shade. But I don't know. It's just, they just appear more glittery to me. But they're pretty. And then these four here is a small little collection that I bought from the Collective Cosmetics. So let me go ahead and just swatch these colored ones over here. I don't remember the name of the collection. These are gorgeous, but they don't look as, you know, like razzle dazzle as some other um, indie shimmers that you might come across but they're still very, very pretty. I've never ordered anything from the Collective Cosmetics before, but those are really pretty. If you want something a little less va-va-voom, <laughs> you know, those are really pretty. So, and when they sent me my order, oh my gosh, it was so beautifully packaged. They wrote me a nice little personalized note and everything. I love when brands do that because it just makes you feel special when you're opening your, you know, shadows. So, anywho, those are the newest to my collection. Next here, I have some shadows from Shine by SD. They sent me these shadows to try out and play with. And oh my gosh, these are so beautiful, you guys. Now, their shadows are very, very sparkly very like light glittery type shadows very pretty i have two different collections in here i don't remember the names of the collections i apologize but i will put them on the screen but yeah these more colorful ones on top is a collection and then these more kind of like light pastel -y ones are a collection as well absolutely gorgeous let me go ahead and swatch a few of these for you guys so you can see what I mean. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. But yeah, like I said, they are more of a, like a really pretty light. How can I describe it? I don't know. It's just more, they're more glittery. So it's one of those things where you don't see the true beauty of them unless they're just like sparkling in the light you know so yeah that is a few of the more colorful ones if you can see those that blue I'm just swatching horribly right now <laughs> but hopefully you can get an idea of what that looks like it's so pretty and then let me swatch just a few of these down here so you can see what these look like as well. Look at that. But yeah, definitely a more beautiful, shiny, glitter, <laughs> glitterly, glittery type formula. But, oh, you see that? If you like that type of look on your lid, and I don't see how you couldn't. <laughs> Those are gorgeous. Next, I have here some new shadows to my collection as well. These are from Kristen Lee, and I have not even swatched these, you guys. Have not even swatched these yet, and they're, oh, they're gorgeous. Now, these ones up here that look like all white, I believe those are like the ones where you swatch them and they're, you know, they turn into a different color. So let's go ahead and swatch some of those and just take a look. So yeah, these are from Kristen Lee Cosmetics. Just because I'm curious to see. So you see, you can see that slight color in there. Yeah, but I'm curious to see what these look like swatched. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely see like the blue, the green, the purple in there. So yeah, even though they look white in the pan, it has that iridescent gorgeousness to it. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, so let's swatch some of the more colorful ones. Oh, that's pretty. And I believe I just, I don't recall if I bought 
collections from her or if I just, you know, chose different shadows to buy. Y'all, I, I don't be remembering. I just be buying pretty stuff. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, hello. Wait, what? <laughs> Do you guys see that? <gasps> that's gorgeous. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, that is so pretty. That one right there, smoky eye. Hello. Okay, enough drooling. We got a lot of shadows to look at. So these are from Kristen Lee. Okay, so these shadows here are from my girl DJ's Boutique. Hello. I have a double set of the shimmer shadows that she released because I got some in PR, of course. My girl sent me some to play with and then I bought some. <laughs> so I have two sets of those. And y'all, if you guys are not following her, just PGD and DJ's Unique Boutique. Definitely follow her because she is coming out with some fire shades for spring. I cannot wait to try them out. I haven't tried them out yet and I'm dying to try them out. So yeah, she's coming out with some new stuff, but these are her shadows. These up here are like some secret specialty shadows that she sent to me. <laughs> so I'm not even going to swatch those and get you guys upset. But yeah, let's go ahead and swatch these three down here that she released just recently oh my goodness so gorgeous yeah. so this is what they look like and get a little bit more of that green for you okay so those are the shadows from DJ's Unique Boutique. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, so, so pretty. Okay, so next let's pull some of these shadows from over here. Now this palette here is a Z palette that I got from Ulta Beauty. They have the clear um, top palettes, but it has like a thick, bold frame around it, but I still like these. And I like to buy them when they're on sale because you can get a good deal on them. But this palette holds three different brands of singles for me. I have some Dandelions Co. over here, which I have not used yet. I also have my Shroud Cosmetics over here, which I've used several times and absolutely love. And down here I have Terra Moon, which are amazing <laughs> okay so let's just swatch a few from each brand let's do some from the dandelions co um gosh since i haven't used them yet what do i want to swatch okay so we'll swatch um, this light peachy shade up here Ooh, let's swatch this purple of course and it's like turquoise aqua type shade here a little more of that okay so these are really pretty they don't look as like super duper shimmery as some other shadows that i have just first impression yeah they're gorgeous but they're more like satiny than um anything else kind of wiped off some of that purple but yeah, oh, those are pretty. Yeah, but they don't have that super duper bling bling, but they're gorgeous. I do already have videos for the Shroud Cosmetics, but I will swatch. Let me just swatch two of these for your viewing pleasure from Shroud. Because honey, and Shroud are so freaking pigmented. It's not even funny. Do you see that? Shroud is the bomb. And then, of course, my Terra Moon. <laughs> I don't even know which ones to swatch because they're all so beautiful. Okay, let me just, just pick a couple. Come on, Terra Moon. Don't let me down, honey. Okay, Terra Moon. Those two there. You see that shimmer? Yeah, if you like the shim shim... 
Terra Moon is the way to go because they are gorgeous, all of them. Okay, so next up, <laughs> I have my Cleona shadows. Okay, these are shadows that were given to me from my girl Lily. Can you believe she bought me this whole collection here? She bought me this whole set of Cleona shadows. I was shocked, okay? <laughs> but they're so gorgeous. I did order some of the stained glass shadows because I just couldn't fight it no more. I've been fighting it for the longest because they're so freaking expensive, ridiculously expensive, quite honestly. But I just, I couldn't take it no more. I was like, I have to try it. I have to get some in my collection. So yeah, I'm waiting on those. But these are the Cleona shadows that I do have. First ones and only ones that I got from one of my besties. So let me just swatch some of these for you guys. Ugh. So you can see how beautiful these are. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Let me swatch this one too. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these. So there's that that and that okay beautiful multi-chrome dual chrome i see some kind of shifts in there you guys but yeah these are absolutely gorgeous i'm just gonna leave those on because y'all know my hands are mad at me right now for swatching all of these shadows <laughs> so let's move on these are my glaminatrix hello I did a whole video swatching every single one of these shadows. So if you want to see every single one of these Glaminatrix shadows swatched, definitely search my name in Glaminatrix and you can see all of these because I swatched them all, honey. Okay, so right now, let me just do just a few for your viewing pleasure. But honey, I'm telling you, <laughs> if you buy any of these shadows... <laughs> You will not be disappointed at all. You can, any of them, all of them, okay? You will not be disappointed. Oh, Glaminatrix, where have you been all my life? <laughs> I mean, quite honestly, listen, I know Cleona gets a lot of love and everything, because they are amazing and wonderful. But I have some single shadows in my collection that will give some Cleonas a run for their money. So I'm really, really dying to see the stained glass collection when I get it. Because, honey, I got some pretty shimmers, okay? So, yeah, that's Glaminatrix. You know, everybody's always talking about, oh, the stained glass. It's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. And I believe it because they look amazing. But have you guys seen Touch of Glam? Okay, Touch of Glam, which is coming up somewhere, has some beautiful, beautiful shimmers as well. So, yeah, Glaminatrix. Now, this palette here just holds some of my Makeup Obsession singles. I actually took all of these singles out of Makeup Obsession palettes. They're not the most amazing uh, formula, you know, for me to be swatching and all that good stuff. But, um, I really do love the fact that I was able to take these out of the palettes cause they're already magnetic and just put them all in one place for me to play with. So yeah, these are just from my makeup obsession palettes and I like having them in one place. Same thing with my Kaleidos. I did take all of my little Kaleidos futurism six pan palettes out of their packaging not to say i don't love their packaging because their little packaging is super duper cute but i just i like to see all of my shadows from a certain brand in one place because i want to be able to mix and match and you know just create different looks using whatever shadow i want to use so these are all of my kaleidos shadows from those palettes i do have the what is it the space pod palette and the new club nebula palette so those are the two palettes that i do have intact of course but these are all kaleidos singles and this purple 
I don't know what the name of it is. It's, it's the lavender something. That's the newest one that I purchased because I just had to have these shimmers down here. As a matter of fact, let me swatch these since that's why I bought it. <laughs> it was because I felt like I just had to have these shimmers from this palette. So let me see if it was worth the purchase for me. Hmm. I mean, they're cute or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're cute. They are. That first one is really pretty. But yeah, definitely, I'm definitely spoiled with all the singles that I have because, you know, looking at those shimmers, I was like, oh my gosh, I want that palette. But now it's like, mm, I really didn't need it. But I do like having Kaleido shadows in my collection. So these are just some more Makeup Obsession shadows from my Makeup Obsession palettes. As you can see, I have all of these kind of like warm and cool tone neutrals in one palette. So they're easy for me to find. But yeah, these are just more of my Makeup Obsession shadows. Okay, next here I have some shadows. Oh gosh, I always forget the name of this brand. <laughs> and I love these. They are actually mostly highlighters i believe these are bitter lace bitter lace <laughs> bitter lace beauty um i really love these shadows i love the pan size because it's nice and big i mean who doesn't like a big shadow right but yeah they can be used you know for highlighters as well as shadows i do have a video swatching all of these let me go ahead of course swatch the blue oh y'all amazing i'll swatch this one too it's kind of like a i don't even know how to describe that color but it's beautiful and then i'll swatch one of these lighter like highlight type shades just so you can see so there's that blue oh my goodness and then that's that darker like burgundy type shade and this is the lighter lighter kind of like highlighty shade so yeah, that blue is my absolute favorite. It just says like midnight to me with those sparkles in there. But yeah, Bitter Lace Beauty, I really, really like their shadows. Next up, I have my two Makeup Geek palettes. I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm not drawn to these shadows that much. I'm really not. Um, when I saw these drop, I was like, oh man, those are so nice. So very pretty. I think because I love square pans a lot. I really, really do. But as far as just me reaching for these, like, oh my gosh, I want to use those today. I just, I never really feel that way. <laughs> but they're really, really pretty. They really are. I've used these to create palettes, you know, to play with and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. They're just, they're not shadows that I just gravitate towards. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, I need to use that today. So these are some shimmers from the new Makeup Geek formula. I do have some of the old formula and they're not really my favorites. So, but those are really pretty, nicely pigmented. And let me swatch some of the mattes. So of course, let me go for the blue cause that one is kind of tricky. Uh, let's do a purple, <sighs> making a mess. Yeah, they're kind of powdery too. And let's do like this kind of peachy shade down here. But I will say the mattes are nice and smooth, even though they're a little powdery. They are really nice and smooth. Very pretty. Now these here are um, the older Makeup Geek shadows that I bought. I actually bought these on sale, like right before they came out with their new formula. I purchased these because they were on a serious discount. And mm, I have to be honest, they're not my favorite favorite. I don't know what it is, but they're just okay to me. And, you know, like I said, it's like now there's so many really absolutely gorgeous 
shimmers out there on the market to where it can be a little bit hard to uh, <laughs> compete nowadays, you know, with all of the newer indie brands and formulas that's out there. See, they're gorgeous. They really are, but sometimes they kind of feel like um, they're getting a little hard pan or something, but yeah, those are really pretty. And I know that's why I haven't gotten rid of them yet. Cause every time I think about getting rid of them, I swatch them and it's like, mm, yeah, no, I'm keeping those. <laughs> now this little palette here doesn't even need to be in here. These are just some random, uh, glitter shadows that I've either taken out of you know, palettes that I decluttered or it's like they were sent to me by indie brands and stuff like that. Like this one came from MBA Cosmetics. They just sent this to me free in my order because I never order glitter. But <laughs> yeah, I have just different glitters in here that I'm definitely not going to swatch. But yeah, see, this is from a palette that I decluttered one of my beauty crop stargazing palettes. So, you know, a lot of palettes have beautiful glitters in them. So if I declutter them and I want to keep the glitter, I'll just depot it and stick it in a palette like this. So these are gorgeous, but it's just random glitters. Now, you guys remember earlier when I mentioned Touch of Glam, <laughs> okay? This is a Z palette that I got from Sephora. Um, theirs is a little bit more sturdy, a little bit nicer than the Ulta ones, I guess. But yeah, it's just another Z palette. Now, the square ones down here, absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty, a little glittery, but gorgeous. Now, the one thing about Touch of Glam, which kind of gives me pause about ordering from them, is because since they are on Etsy... It kind of, you know, and she's a one woman show. So, you know, I totally understand that with indie brands, you know, it's going to take some time, <laughs> but it took me a long time to get these, these square ones down here. And it was definitely worth the wait though. <laughs> That's the only thing, honey, if you have the patience to wait for these shadows to arrive is definitely worth it because they're just, they're gorgeous, but yeah, it, it takes a long time. Sometimes when you're dealing with, you know, the indie brands creating and hand pressing these beautiful shadows. So that's the only reason why I'm kind of hesitant as far as reordering more, because it just takes so long. Now, these up here, these are the ones that I was talking about when I mentioned the Cleona Stained Glass. These multi-chrome shadows from Touch of Glam. Oh, let me swatch these for you right quick. I've already swatched these before. I did um, a whole video swatching some of my favorite... <laughs> my favorite um, indie brand shimmers. And chow, these touch of glam, multi-chrome. Oh, I, I literally am speechless. Do you see what I'm talking about here? Like what? Look at that. And y'all saw that was just one, one swipe. One swipe. Yeah, so if I was going to suggest... <laughs> any shadows from today um touch of glam is definitely one i would suggest you look into because they're gorgeous they are amazing now these shadows here in this z palette from ulta this is another um collection that i have here these are from m cosmetics very, very nice. I think I did do a video swatching these. As a matter of fact, I did. I really like their shadow formula as well. It's a little bit more subtle, not super duper, you know, glitz and glammy as some of my other shadows, but they're still very pretty nonetheless. So let me just swatch some of these for you. But I do believe that I did a video swatch swatching these if I'm not mistaken so 
Yeah, those are from M E M M E Cosmetics. Very pretty. And let me swatch some of the mattes too, just in case you're curious about the formula on the mattes. Even though I don't really <laughs> care for um, mattes when it comes to singles as much as I do shimmers, I know that some other people really are into the matte formula when it comes to different brands. So, yeah, sorry about that. It's a little messy, but, yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. Very smooth, very pigmented. So, yeah, very pretty from M Cosmetics. Okay, so next, let me just pull all three of these because these are all from Coastal Scents. So, as you can see, I have them in some more of my Sephora Z palettes. I love these things. <laughs> but these are all from Coastal Scents. So this one just has a bunch of neutrals in here. I've had my Coastal Scent shadows for quite a while. I did purchase some more last year, I think, during one of their uh, half price sales, you know, because Coastal Scents, very affordable. You know, if you want to just kind of get your collection going. But I do have a video swatching all of my Coastal Scents shadows if you're curious about the quality or maybe certain ones that you want to buy. So this one just kind of has more of my like sunset type vibes in here. Um, very, very pretty. And then lastly, I have a few more yellows mixed in with my greens and blues. So yeah, these are all from Coastal Scents. And like I said, I did swatch all of these in a video already if you're curious and I am just kind of rearranging and putting my palettes back in the holders <laughs> while I'm doing this video so I don't have so much to do when I'm done so if you see the shadows that I've already gone through over here that's because I've moved them all back <laughs> Okay, and then lastly for this side, I do have this palette that I got from Shop Miss A, I believe. Um, yeah, it's just one of their little very, very inexpensive magnetic palettes that I got. The larger one has a mirror in there. I never really care about mirrors in my magnetic palettes. But these are all my Lethal Cosmetics. <laughs> Okay, sometimes with Legal Cosmetics, it's hard for me to pick out shadows because they have so many, but I do love the square pans because, you know, Adept made me fall in love with square eyeshadow palettes for sure, um, along with their formula. But yeah, these are from Lethal, so let me swatch a few of these for you. I'll do a few shimmers. I did not do a whole swatch party for Lethal, now that I think about it. I made um, a few palettes that I played with <laughs> from Lethal and, you know, just had some fun with their shadows. But, yeah, I did not do a whole swatch party for Lethal. So, those are some of my shimmers from Lethal. And let me swatch a few of the mattes. So, we'll go with this burgundy this green and this like blue purple type shade I think so yeah I think with lethal I enjoy their formula there's nothing wrong with it it's just it doesn't have that like super duper punch that I love from single shadows now, if you're someone who doesn't like, you know, a whole lot of instantaneous pigment because, you know, you really need to just kind of have something easy to work with and simple to blend and that comes out really gorgeous, then yeah, this type of formula will work nicely for you because it's nicely pigmented, but it's not like overly aggressive like what I like so that's why I say this is it's really nice their formula is nice it's just not my favorite because you know your girl over here likes that super duper aggressive <laughs> aggressive pigment <laughs> okay okay so let's move on to this last section over here and 
both of these palettes I believe are the same brand I ran out of room in here of course so I added some in here but these if I'm not mistaken I don't have a label on here these these have got to be JD glow they have to be JD glow because this little section right here honey hello <laughs> but let me take a look yep JD glow okay so these are all of my JD glow shadows and I honestly I don't even think I have any mattes from JD glow I'm that in love with their shimmer formula their multi chromes oh lord have mercy JD glow is amazing <laughs> not even go front JD glow is amazing so let me go ahead and just swatch a few from this palette here oh my goodness look at that I have got glitter and shimmer everywhere you guys okay so let's see mm -mm -mm. let me do I haven't really I don't know have I been doing golds I don't know you guys okay so Yes, honey chow. I'm getting worse and worse at swatching. <laughs> JD Glow, so beautiful. And they are like really, really shiny. If you can, you know, see just how shiny they are, man, that's gorgeous. I'm going to swatch some of these like little multi chromes over here in this corner because they are silky smooth and just oh my gosh <laughs> I just what oh, I can't I just literally can't <laughs> okay hold on J D oh listen listen don't don't play with me don't even play with me don't try it don't do it don't come telling me nothing about no jd glow yo what get out of here quit playing look i'm gonna need to take a minute i'm gonna need to take a minute Okay, I'll just look at this while I take a minute. Okay, don't play with me. They're gorgeous. So, yeah, if the Cleona stained glass looks better than those, these down here, then okay, I'm, I'm probably just going to pass out. I won't even be able to take it, okay? But yeah, these are all of my <laughs> JD Glow <laughs> singles. Okay, now the brand that made me fall in love with indie brand singles for one and made me fall in love with square shaped pans. <laughs> Adept Cosmetics. I know you guys are like, why don't you have your Adept shadows in an Adept palette? Because I want to see them, honey. I want to see them. That is why they are in this little Coastal Scents palette, okay? <sighs> look at this. Look, look at the glory. Oh my goodness. Adept is beautiful. Let me, let me swatch some of these for you guys, okay? Let's see. What do I want to... This, <laughs> this is the one I always go to. One of my absolute favorites. Okay, so yeah, she's getting swatched. This one down here is getting swatched. Um, do we want to do a red, a purple? What? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some of their other like super shimmery shadows from their new palettes. But look, hello. What? Yes, Adept is the bomb. I did a whole video on um, their shadow collection when I ordered from them because I had ordered their whole collection and I guess they saw it and they <laughs> liked it and, you know, they send me stuff in PR and I am so, so happy to be on 
their PR list right now to receive stuff to share with you guys because, honey, their shadows are amazing, okay? Just beautiful. Okay, so let's swatch a few mattes as well. I always go for the darker mattes because, you know, I want you guys to see the quality on the mattes, the darker mattes that you would want to, you know, kind of go for, for a really bold kind of eye look. So yeah, making a mess. So let me swatch some of these mattes and just show you how beautifully pigmented they are. Look at that. What? What? <laughs> yes, I love the depth shadows. I really do. Love, love, love adept. Just gorgeous. So, so pretty. So I have these two whole palettes so far <laughs> of adept shadows. I mean, just gorgeous. But I also have their two latest palettes that they came out with. They um, started doing palettes. I don't know if they used to do them in the past. Not sure. But these are their two latest palettes. The Plain Jane and the Ninhydrin. And all of these aren't single shadows. I do kind of keep them with my single shadows because of the fact that these are magnetic. So I can take them out and play around with them, you know, however I want to. <laughs> so I do keep these with my singles. Oh, they're so gorgeous. Let me swatch a couple. Let me just swatch a couple of these. Oh my goodness, look at that. So let's see here, I'll put them right here. Look at that, gorgeous. Those are from the Plain Jane. And this is the Ninhydrin palette that they just came out with. It is sold out right now, but I know they are going to do a restock hopefully soon. So these are the shadows in the Ninhydrin palette. Let me swatch a couple of these. I think I'm going to do <laughs> some of my absolute favorites from this palette already. I use these two in an eye look on Instagram. If you are curious, definitely check it out. But I really want to do a green look, so let's just swatch these three from this palette. And these are like some of those really just absolutely gorgeous shimmery, shim shim type shadows. Look at those. Oh my goodness, <laughs> they're so pretty. So yeah, those are from the Ninhydrin. Very, very pretty. Okay, so next up I have my Davina shadows and these are all of the shadows I have from Davina. So as you can see, they have absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous collections of shimmers, multi-chromes, dual chromes, just beautiful, beautiful shimmers. And then they also have nice selections like groupings of mattes. I don't remember if they're actual like little palettes of mattes. Or if they're just like little bundles you could buy. But I know I bought a few of their bundles like last fall or something like that, I believe. But they're absolutely gorgeous. So let me just swatch a few of these for you. I feel like the greens from Davina are some of my favorites from them for some reason. I love their greens. They're just so pretty, so super shiny, absolutely gorgeous. So let me swatch some of the mattes. So very nice. As you can see, while the mattes are nicely pigmented, they're not like, you know, like super duper aggressive, <laughs> like the single shadows that I kind of gravitate to, honey. I love just that extreme pigment, but these kind of shadows are really easy to work with, really nice to blend. 
you don't have a lot of issues with overdoing it with these type of shadows. Kind of like I said with the Lethal Cosmetics, much easier to work with, but yeah. They're not really my particular favorite because I love to have that punch when it comes to a matte. But these shimmers, as you can see, they are gorgeous. Okay, next I have my Luxie Shadows, L-O-O-X-I, and another one of my little Coastal Scents palettes. I can't wait until they go on sale again because, honey, I stock up on these things because <laughs> I love these little clear top palettes, okay? But yeah, these are my Luxy shadows. And I believe I did do a video swatching all of the shimmers. I don't think I had the mattes at the time of the swatch video. I don't remember. But yeah, I'll go ahead and swatch some of the mattes and some shimmers for you. But yeah, if you're curious, I do have a video for that. And Luxy has um, some of the more affordable you know shadows i think when it comes to indie brands and shimmers and stuff and i don't think that um their quality is that much lower you know than the more expensive ones but you know there definitely is a difference but if you are looking for some pretty shimmery shadows on a budget you know, they definitely have some gorgeous colors, gorgeous shades that are nice and shiny. I'm sorry, you guys, my voice is getting tired, so <laughs> it might sound a little crackalicious. But yeah, let me swatch just a few of these mattes for you guys as well so we can, you know, just kind of see what the quality is for their mattes. Yeah, so they're not bad at all. Definitely worth the price, I think. Um, yeah, it doesn't hold the same punch as the more expensive indie brands, but, you know, they're definitely worth the price. They even have like $2 sales, I think, on Tuesdays or something like that sometimes. So, so yeah, these are from Luxi, L-O-O-X-I. I also have some ColourPop singles, <laughs> which is kind of funny to say because every single ColourPop palette is ColourPop singles because they're all magnetic, which is really cool. But these are ColourPop shadows that I actually purchased as singles. So I put them in here. I used to have them in the little ColourPop palettes for singles, but... Like I said, you guys know I like the clear top. I like to be able to see my shadows. So I did move them all into this palette. But yeah, um, there I, I don't feel like I need to swatch these because if you're familiar with the ColourPop um, formula, then you already know how these shadows look, swatch, and perform. As a matter of fact, I did swatch all of these in a video when I first got them. So definitely search that if you're curious about the ColourPop singles, cause I did swatch all of these already. So yeah, they're very nice, you know, ColourPop. Now this palette here is actually some singles that I depotted. This here is from a Peachy Queen palette. So these 12, I believe it is on this side is from one of my Peachy Queen palettes that I depotted. Because I didn't like the name of the palette. It was something kind of demonic or witchy or something. So I took the shadows out and they're in here. And then these are actually from Makeup Addiction. These uh, 12 over here I had in a couple of Makeup Addiction palettes. And I wanted to just kind of combine them with these shadows. So whenever I'm looking for these specific colors... I can go ahead and just, you know, find them in this one little palette. And it worked out perfectly because they're all the same size. And I feel like it's a nice cohesive, like, color scheme as well. The Makeup Addiction shadows are very, very nice. Very nice. So this right here is a Makeup Addiction palette. I can't remember the name of it. This one here is a quad of, like, these highlighter-type shimmers that they had in a palette. 
some kind of unicorn palette, I think. But yeah, I really like how all these shadows look together. Very, very nice. I love this navy blue down here, this forest green shimmer, this super bright green. All of these shadows are just gorgeous. So yeah, that's just like a pish posh of singles that I have put together. Oh my goodness, I am almost done, you guys. And thank the Lord, because I'm tired. <laughs> so this is my singles book. It's called The Book of Shades, and it's from Colored Rain. You may have seen this. Um, I don't know if they still sell it. I hope they do, because I actually really, really like it. I think it's really neat. I can't put this like anywhere in my background, because my camera will try to zone in on the face <laughs> when I'm filming. But it's a really nice thick book that has three pages that you can store shadows in and there's a mirror in here if you care about that but yeah it has like numbers so you can kind of like create a list of the shadows that you put in here and then put the you know put it on a numbered sheet or you know you can write it on here I guess if you want to but this is page one of my book which of course are all of my colored rain singles I do have some colored rain palettes as well I kind of went back and forth as far as whether or not I wanted to depot the juicy boost palette and put it in here but I decided not to so I still have the juicy boost palette intact but these are some singles that I purchased from Colored Rain. I actually have some duplicates of these singles because I didn't realize that <laughs> a lot of the singles I was buying was actually from their Safari Rain palette, I believe. So I got some duplicates, but I don't mind because they're absolutely gorgeous shades. <laughs> okay, just bomb. And then on page two, I have my MBA cosmetics shadows which I really really love really enjoy they have like some fluorescent shadows rainbow colored shadows down here I have some beautiful blues and aquas and then of course on the last page is where I have some of my greens and neutrals so those are beautiful as well but yeah not as <laughs> not as special to me to go up on you know the first page so yeah these are from mba cosmetics and then these are from colored rain so yeah i really love this book it's really cute it's nice it's gorgeous and i have a few empty slots left in the back i think yeah i have a few empty slots that i still need to fill so I like this book. It's really cool and I like having it. Well, you guys, that is it for today. I've pretty much gone through the bulk of my single shadows collection. I do have some other singles in like super duper large palettes that I have depotted from other, you know, palettes that I've gotten rid of over the years and stuff. I have like three really big, huge palettes that have singles in them. <laughs> well but I'm not going through all of those it's too much but I just wanted to show you the ones that I feel like are really pretty that I really enjoy that you know you might be curious about yourself just so you can see them see a few swatches and you know just see what's happening so yeah that's it I had a good time I love swatching my singles especially the shimmers because they are absolutely gorgeous and so yeah i had some fun so thank you so much for hanging out with me if you are still here you are the real mvp thank you so much because <laughs> i know this video is going to be long but i really had a good time so thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles Talk to me.